a law has been passed in Australia. Now, if you identify, if you misgender someone, like if you call someone a woman when they are actually a transgender male, you could get in trouble for it. You're risking jail time. And a new law now that some women just found out about the hard way. If you say biological men are not capable of breastfeeding, you could be in some real trouble. You could be arrested for this. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> it seems like some 1984 type shit. But it's real life. We're living in a dystopian nightmare. Where if you speak biological fact, you can be imprisoned. You could lose your job. You could lose your means of livelihood. Tell me this is not some mad, like crazy world. I feel like we're living in a South Park episode. That's how mad things have become. So the picture you see right in front of me right here, that's a man that's transformed a trans woman, trans, I don't even know, trans woman, but he's a natural man. And he's, he's trying to breastfeed a newborn baby. You do not have the glands to produce milk. And so some women on uh, Australian Twitter have come out and said and spoken against this because it's speaking for women's rights because it seems like right now it's like a war on women. It's a war on everyone because it's about divide and rule because these movements don't just come out of nowhere. They're heavily funded by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and the George Soros Open Society Foundation. They pump billions into these little groups that are less than a fraction of a percent of the world population. They empower the very vocal minority and in turn, they use that to destabilize society because in order to rebuild, you have to destroy. It's like the phoenix rising out of the ashes. That's their motto. Order up chaos. Order out of chaos. That's what they're doing. So these little groups just hadn't just know they don't just spring out of nowhere. These are heavily funded, very meticulously planned organizations. This is not, this is mentally not okay these people need help not a heavy platform to spew garbage and so these women are in serious trouble now the tweets they made about men not being able to breastfeed have been taken down by twitter because of course this is it's violated the terms and conditions and one of the women an australia uh, i think i don't know if she's an australian politician or something there's a witch hunt for her now because she stated a biological fact. Men cannot breastfeed. Is this where we are now, society? You have to confuse the genders to fuse the gender. This is all about gender fusion. And that's it. The violation of the Australian law, section this, section that. And what do you know? This coalition paid $20,000 to the breastfeeding and uh, lactating association of Australia to create an educational booklet about lactating and chest feeding for men. They can't say breastfeeding no more because when you say breastfeeding, you like kind of like insinuating only women have breasts, so they have to change it to chest feeding for men. How can you chest feed if you can't produce milk? So they paid the Australian Breastfeeding Association $20,000 to create this pamphlet, this book right here. Breastfeeding, chest feeding, and human milk feeding. Guess what's missing from there? Women. See how they're confusing the genders so they could fuse it? So transgender, transgenderism can turn to transhumanism. The ultimate goal is to merge 
humans with AI. This is not. This is this is ridiculous, if man. Your job is to protect people by from discrimination. And that's just that's the prime minister. That this man here is trying to get fired because she said men are not capable of breast feeding because we don't produce milk. We don't have the glands for it. And they're calling for a resignation, her firing. They're coming uh, after her. While on duty and in front of everybody else who's doing that, you are peddling that kind of discrimination. Th then, then you're not fit for the job and honestly shouldn't be doing it anymore. And that's a crazy person. You can look at her face. She's crazy. And here they are in the woman's office. Those are gallons of piss. You see those there? Those are gallons of piss. Jars of piss that is spraying over her office. These are the people we're giving platforms to. These are the people, not us, but these are the people, the elites. Same way they're funding the Yahtzees over at Ukraine. They're funding these crazies over here to destabilize society purposefully. And you wonder why the rest of the world see us as a joke. Look, it's trying it's spraying piss over there, trying to stop the revolving door with a jar of piss so they can spray over there. So you can just spray piss over in her office just because she said her own opinion. Because all these are opinions at the end of the day. <laughs> oh, that's the video, guys. How about your boy later?